an evil ideology of Islamic fundamentalism that in fact distorts Islam. It creates a wall around its people. Iran is enslaved behind that wall of fundamentalist ideology. And it enslaves all of the Iranian people, but it especially enslaves the women of Iran, who do not even have the limited rights that their male counterparts have in that society. Women who are the heart of the family, who are the bedrock principle of the family, do not in Iran even have the right to their own children. They do not have the right to leave abusive relationships. They do not have the right to go out and visit doctors on their own. They do not have the right to own property on their own. They do not have the right in court that their male counterparts do. And when women go out and in any way uh, are seen as not following the fundamentalist mullahs, they risk imprisonment, they risk insult, they even risk physical attack with acid thrown on their face. And yet, as Mayor Giuliani suggested, my country, the leaders of my country, the United States, somehow believe that there is a new regime in Iran. They act as if the election of Hassan Rouhani meant anything different for the people of Iran. Yet, since Mr. Rouhani has been the head of that country, the nominal head, because the real heads are the mullahs, but since Mr. Rouhani has been in power, there have been more people hanged than there were prior to his coming. There have been more women who have been jailed and persecuted under Mr. Rouhani. We in the West are very focused today on the threat of Islamic fundamentalism and its various manifestations. And we have been particularly focused on what is happening in the Middle East, when in Iraq in particular, with the Islamic State in Iraq and Syria, ISIS, as it is known. And we have been captivated by the pictures of the Jordanian pilot who was viciously burned to death, burned alive, for the entertainment and the recruitment of more followers. And so we have been very focused on what's been going on in Iraq as ISIS has taken more and more territory. But as we sit here today in Berlin, the fight for the city of Tikrit is going on, but it is not the forces of the West, the forces of democracy, the forces of liberty, that are taking on ISIS. Unfortunately, it is simply another evil group, the Iranian uh, forces, the Quds Force, that are in fact supplying so many of the 30,000 militia and regular forces that are taking on that city. Well, I am here to tell you that that wall, that wall of ideology threatens all of us. And as the mayor just said, if the Iranian regime is able to get nuclear weapons, and they are this close to having those weapons now, if they are able to do that, it will not just be acid thrown in the face of women, it will be nuclear waste that will rain down on all of us when this regime has those weapons. And let me just say, in summation, one final word. Because I talked about the invisible wall of Islamic fundamentalists that enslave so many, there is a physical wall as well that is enslaving people that the United States promised to protect. And that is the wall around Camp Liberty. Camp Liberty now is home to hundreds of Iranians who have no place to go because too many countries have refused to open their doors to them. Albania is one of 
of the few countries that has taken in these brave people. So here in Berlin, I say, in memory of President Ronald Reagan, there is another wall that must be torn down. And I say to President Barack Obama, and I say to Prime Minister Al-Abadi in Iraq, tear down the wall of Camp Liberty. Let our people go. Thank you.